Hi, I'm Dan with DZ Custom Innovations. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the operation of the ShiftSense Pro in the 2016 or 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, first thing we'll do is go through some of the design features of the device, and then we'll go through the operation and safety features, and finally we'll do a test drive comparing the ShiftSense Pro operation to the OEM operation and drive. First off, I'll touch a bit on the operation and safety features of the ShiftSense Pro. For one, the power switch which is located on the top of the device, this can be left in the on position at all times. The shift sense only receives power when the key is on, so you don't have to worry about it draining your battery if the vehicle is off. Uh, so at this point we can go ahead and start the vehicle. Okay, so we see that the blue LED is lit, which means the device is powered on, and we also heard two beeps, which indicates that the shift sense Pro has established communication with the vehicle through the OBD port, so it's receiving data, it's ready to drive. So if you wanted to drive, at this point all you need to do is shift to uh, S mode. So with the shift to S, we heard one beep, which means the shift sense Pro is engaged. And we also saw the index on the dash go from S4 to S3 to S2. Uh, if you ever engage it when stopped, it will go to S2. If you engage shift sense Pro while you're moving, it will go into whatever gear is appropriate for the speed that you're traveling. Um, once you're driving with the shift sense Pro, if you ever want to use the shift lever to make a manual shift, uh, OEM S mode operation, all you need to do is command a shift. So let's make a shift positive. So we heard three beeps, meaning the shift sense Pro is disengaged now, and we also saw the index up to S3. So at this point, you could make shifts however you like. Uh, if you want to re-engage the shift sense Pro, you go to D and back to S. Again, you heard the one beep, you see it's engaged, and we saw the index to S2. Uh, so, a couple notes regarding the engagement of the device. Uh, there is a maximum safety speed for engagement, which is 65 miles per hour. Now, this only applies to the initial engagement. If Once the device is engaged, it will control shifts all the way up through as fast as the truck will go. It's just the initial engagement, you must be moving less than 65 miles per hour. The other thing is, four-wheel drive low range, shift sense is not intended for operation in four low. So if you do attempt to engage it while you're in four low, all we'll do is cancel immediately. And you can still use the S mode as you like manually to make your shifts. One other safety feature of the shift sense Pro, if it ever loses communication with the vehicle through the OBD port, it will automatically cancel and S mode will stay in the currently selected gear you make the shifts manually. Uh, to demonstrate this, we'll put it in S. So you see the device is engaged. I'll go ahead and pull the OBD port. You heard the three beeps, meaning the engagement is canceled, but the vehicle remained in S2. You make the shifts as manual as you like. Also before we drive, I wanted to give a bit of an explanation on how the ShiftSense Pro shift programming differs from OEM. So what I have here is the shift map for the ShiftSense Pro device. Uh, I know it's difficult to see in the video, but this can also be found on our website. Um, and then I also have the performance curve for the 2GR FKS, which is the 3.5 liter V6 used in the Tacoma. This shows power and torque versus RPM. Uh, for drivability of any vehicle, it's always very, very important that these are matched perfectly. Um, the ShiftSense Pro shift points, as you can see here, are generally higher RPM than OEM, especially in the low to mid throttle range. Uh, from the testing we've done, we find that 99% of most people's driving is, in, is spent in this region, 0 to 75% throttle. Uh, so for the most part, you will see significant improvement in performance uh, throughout that range. Where you see some overlap is up here in the range greater than 80%. So you may actually see that the dotted line, which represents the OEM shift map, crosses and comes a little bit higher than what the ShiftSense Pro's shift map does. So in those cases, um, you may actually find that even if the SS Pro uh, in, it indexes the shift up, uh, the OEM programming may actually hold the shift just a little bit longer as it wants to. Um, but for, you know, as I mentioned, generally in this uh, 0 to 75% range where um, most people spend 99% of their driving, that's where you'll see the biggest uh, impact to performance from the Shift Sense Pro. So a bit more detail on the, shifts, on the shift map and the performance. Um, for one, we see that the shift map starts from second gear. So the, the Shift Sense Pro commands the shifts down through S2. Uh, what we found in our testing was that um, when we developed our algorithms, the shift points from 1 to 2 provided by the OEM were in the same neighborhood as what we were getting with the Shift Sense Pro, so it was pretty much unnecessary to command it down any farther. Um, but still, even though the dash display shows S2, the vehicle will start out from first gear from a stop as needed. 
another thing we notice is the minimum upshift speeds. So the lower portion of the, th of the shift map here, you see that the lines become flat. So what happens is if you're at very low throttle position, say in the 0 to 25% range, uh, there's a minimum speed you need to be going before it will make that upshift. For second to third gear, that speed is 22 miles per hour. For third to fourth gear, it's 35 miles per hour. For fourth to fifth, it's 52. And for fifth to sixth, it's 72 miles per hour. Now the reason those minimum shift speeds are established, if we look at the performance curve for this engine, so what this shows is essentially 1,000 RPM to 6,000 RPM, which is the normal operating range for this engine, red lines at around 6,000 RPM. Uh, the performance shows that horsepower peaks 6,000 RPM. Now this is from the Toyota specs. Uh, torque, speaks, torque peaks at about 4,600 RPM. And what you see is down in this range where we do most of our driving, 1,000 to 4,500 RPM, um, you know, if you get down to very low RPMs, you have significant drops off in torque, um, especially below 1500 RPM. So the minimum upshift speeds are established to kind of keep us in this 1500 uh, minimum RPM range. Because if you go to RPMs below that, if you shift into higher gears which drop your RPMs below that, you get into this gear hunting and bogging down which most of the complaints of the Tacoma Gen 3 are based on. So what we find is, you know, keeping the RPM in that 1500 to 2100 RPM range um, at the minimum is best for overall performance. We talked a lot about this minimum upshift speed so now expand a bit more and look at the uh, performance in the rest of the throttle range so 25 to 75 percent where we do most of our driving most of our accelerating and what you'll see is there's a slope to the shift map curve so the engine uh, the shifts will be held to the appropriate RPM for the engine uh, just to keep you in the sweet spot with the performance. Um, so generally you see in this, uh, you know, 1500 to 4500 RPM is where you do most of your operating. Uh, if you look at this sixth gear shift point, uh, just to focus specifically on fifth to sixth gear, that minimum shift speed is set at 70, 72 miles per hour. So you won't see it shifting up to sixth gear unless you're going that speed. And the reason is um, with the amount of aerodynamic drag this truck has uh, and, and the final drive ratio in sixth gear, um, is so high that it becomes almost impossible for the engine to produce enough torque to maintain speed at speeds below that. So you get into this constant gear hunting 5 to 6, 5 to 6, which we all feel. So holding that RPM or that speed up to 72 and above uh, really improves the situation with the gear hunting in 5th to 6th gear. Um, you know, another note on that is if you look at the Gen 3 versus the Gen 2 Tacoma, uh, the final drive ratio in fifth gear is almost identical between the two trucks. In the Gen 3, they introduced this sixth gear, which is a second overdrive, and it's actually about 15% higher gear ratio than what fifth gear is. So, you know, it, it's very much, uh, it, it makes it very difficult for the engine to produce enough torque. A couple of last notes related to ShiftSense Pro. So, whenever you're operating with ShiftSense Pro enabled, you put the vehicle in S mode to enable it. Um, Whenever you're operating the Tacoma in S mode, it disables the AI or the artificial intelligence um, function of the ECU. And where you'll notice this the most is on extreme grades, so uphill or downhill. The truck will make um, downshifts, which sometimes seem extreme. It'll run the engine at very high RPM, and it seems like no matter what you do with the pedal, you can't get it to upshift. Um, that's all part of that AI operation, and since that gets disabled, it pretty much totally eliminates that when using the ShiftSense Pro. Uh, the last thing is downshifts. So, uh, you know, this is the upshift map. There's a similar map for downshifts. Um, but just to cover the, the coasting downshifts, um, as you're coming to a stop will occur 6th uh, to 5th gear at 68 miles per hour, 5th to 4th at 45, 4th to 3rd gear at 25 miles per hour, and 3rd to 2nd at 6 miles per hour. Uh, for a quick introduction into driving with the ShiftSense Pro, so when you want to go ahead and drive, all you need to do is shift the lever to the S position and leave it there. There's no further interaction required by the driver whatsoever while driving. It will perform all of your upshifts and downshifts. Um, the way ShiftSense Pro is working, it's continually monitoring your speed and your accelerator pedal position uh, approximately 10 times per second. So what it's doing is continually comparing your driving conditions to the shift map and making all of your upshifts and downshifts as necessary. Um, you know, 
Another important note about the ShiftSense Pro, and a lot of people may not even realize this about the Gen 3 Tacoma, is the Gen 3 is actually fully drive-by-wire, meaning there's no longer a cable connection between the accelerator pedal and the throttle body in the engine. Uh, so the accelerator pedal is simply a sensor which sends an electrical signal to the ECU. It's still up to the ECU to command the throttle and the shifting performance of the truck. And we all know the ECU in the Gen 3 has a bit of a mind of its own. Um, the ShiftSense Pro differs in that its control algorithms are based entirely on pedal position. So it effectively reestablishes the link between the driver's foot and the shifting performance. So it gets you that feel and that drivability back. Um, you know, a lot of people have told me the thing, one of the things they enjoy most about the ShiftSense Pro is the ability to control the shift a, a bit better. It's more predictable um, and they're able to, if they want, hold a gear or allow an upshift. And you can do this by either holding moderate pressure on the throttle or lifting slightly. And this will allow the uh, transmission to either upshift or downshift as you want. Um, so what we'll do now is go out and do a simple drive, just a normal acceleration and deceleration up and down through the gears so you can get a feel for what the ShiftSense Pro does. So for our first drive with the ShiftSense Pro, we'll go ahead and enable the device, shift to S. Now during this drive, we'll be able to watch all the shifts being made on the dash display. Uh, I'll show you later how to disable that pop-up display if you prefer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and perform this acceleration at moderate throttle. Show you what you can expect. So right now we're in second gear. There was the upshift to three. Shift to four. Shift to five. Very smooth acceleration. I kept steady pressure on the pedal during that entire acceleration. So now that we're at highway speed, um, I can show you a bit about the features of the Shift Sense Pro. So, you know, say at this point you wanted to make a manual shift for some reason, you wanted to downshift to four. All you need to do is go ahead and command a shift. So it went to four. The Shift Sense Pro, we heard three beeps, so it disengaged. I'll go ahead and re-engage the Shift Sense Pro by shifting the drive back to S. You can see since we're moving it commanded our shift in the fifth gear so that's where we're at. Um, another thing with Shift Sense Pro, so we have a hill coming up ahead here. It performs all downshifts as necessary for passing for climbing hills. Uh, so as we get into the hill we should see a downshift to fourth gear. So we're steady at 60 miles per hour right now. So I increased throttle pressure, it kicked down to four as necessary. And as we crest the hill, I'm lighting up on throttle pressure, shifts back to fifth. Now I don't expect to see sixth on this drive because again the minimum upshift speed to sixth gear is 72. Uh, we won't be approaching those kind of speeds on this two lane highway so uh, it will maintain fifth gear. Um, the nice thing about that is you don't have to worry about any of the gear hunting between fifth and sixth gear that you normally see in the drive. So now we'll show the normal deceleration with the Shift Sense Pro. So right now we're in fifth gear cruising at 58 miles per hour. I'll start to slow. What you'll see is as we cross through 45, it makes the downshift to fourth. At 25, make the downshift to third. As we come to a stop, it'll make the final index down to S2. Now when we go to accelerate again, the truck will start out in first gear as necessary. So right now we're in first gear, shifts to second, and the Shift Sense Pro will command all the shifts up through. There's shift to S3, so the situation up here is one of the places where the Shift Sense Pro really shines, and that is as you're slowing down into a turn. So we're going to make a turn on this road up here. As we're decelerating, it's making these downshifts. So right now we're in fourth. At 25, it'll downshift to third. So right here, when we get back on the gas, we're already in third gear. We're already in the gear that we need to be in to make this acceleration. Where in drive, typically, you would go into that turn, it would still be in fourth or fifth or maybe even sixth gear. 
and it would, right after you make the turn, it would have to make several downshifts so you get a hesitation before you can start to accelerate. Where the Shift Sense Pro, uh, you're, it's more common that you're in the gear that you need to be in uh, when you want to make that acceleration after a turn.